cloud rendering in A360 takes advantage of virtually infinite computing power to create photorealistic and high-resolution images in less time. A360 rendering also allows you to perform solar study renderings, eliminate simulation, and navigate through interactive panoramas. You can choose to render your panoramas, solar studies, and eliminants in the cloud directly from 3ds Max. However, if you have already uploaded the same source file and version to the cloud, going directly to your A360 rendering account might offer more flexibility. As an example, this project has already been rendered in the cloud. Notice that each image has been color corrected via the exposure adjustment, as well as re-rendered using a field environment. I will use this image as a base to render a panorama as it will respect the image changes. To render an interactive panorama, mouse over the image thumbnail and choose Render as Panorama. Adjust the setting accordingly. The required amount of credits will be adjusted according to the render quality and image width. When the panorama starts rendering, you can interact with the render preview and make sure everything looks as you expect. You can cancel the render at any point and no credits will be charged to your account. Once rendered, a curved, double-headed arrow icon appears over the image thumbnail in the collection. Click a panorama thumbnail to display the scene in the panorama viewer. Place the mouse pointer over the panorama viewer and click and drag to interact with the scene. Note that the image you used to create the panorama has not been removed. You can retrieve it by changing the collection view filter to display all renderings. Solar studies enable you to visualize the impact of natural light and shadow on both exteriors and interior views. To render a solar study, choose an appropriate view in your project, mouse over the image thumbnail, click on the down arrow and choose the option to render as a solar study. In the render setting menu, choose the start and end date as well as the start and end time. I normally run my solar study on summer or winter solstice from 8am to 6pm. Depending on the interval you are choosing, the number of frame will be adjusted. The logic here is that one frame equals one image to be rendered. As you see, the more frames are needed, the more cloud credits will be required. Keep in mind that the solar study is using the existing image size and quality. Once the solar study is fully rendered, a sun icon will appear on top of the image thumbnail. Click on the thumbnail to view the animated solar study. You can choose to view the video in full screen. If you choose to download the solar study, you will get a zip image containing each of the rendered images. Each image will have a top banner with the year, date and time of the day. You can also choose to perform eliminant simulations of scenes to better understand the effect of natural and artificial lighting. To do so, choose an image in your project, mouse over the thumbnail image, click on the down arrow and choose the option to render as eliminants. Adjust the rendering settings accordingly. Here you might need additional knowledge on eliminants calculation to help choose the appropriate settings for your project. Eliminant simulations of scenes are done to check lighting levels in your design. This can help when seeking LEED certification for a building. Once the eliminants is fully rendered, an icon will appear on the thumbnail image. Click on it to view the full image. Eliminants range are displayed on the side of the image to help understand the color coding. A360 rendering offers more options for presentation purposes, such as turntable animation and stereo panorama that you might want to explore on your own. With A360 rendering virtually infinite computing power, gain deeper understanding of your design, make decisions and present your project and design to your clients in a fast and effective way.